Well, we are out of the United States, and you know what I got? More cooperation. Yes. And this one actually, I'm used to the foreign cooperation, but this one actually shocked me. So it was just, I give her like a solid nine. One of the best looking chicks I've seen, knocking the chicks in the United States out of the water, no competition whatsoever. And after I tell you about what just happened, there really ain't no competition. So uh, I'm leaving right, I'm leaving Medellin right now. And there was a uh, chick sitting, waiting, uh, she was actually, she was walking. And we caught eye contact. And I, it was a different type of eye contact. So anyway, some time went by, I came back. And when I came back, she was sitting down and she's still looking. So I went over there and I introduced myself and I told her my name and I asked her where she was from. And she said she was from Nicaragua. So I was like, okay, I'm not lying. I said, uh, well, I travel every month at this point, so I'm gonna have to come to Nicaragua to see you. Actually, no, no, I texted her that. Before that, I said, well, hey, look, I'd like to get to know you. What's your WhatsApp? Do you have WhatsApp? And that's how you have to be very direct, straightforward. There's no confusion. If she doesn't understand that, she's just an idiot. That's very direct. She should be able to understand that. Like I said, if they don't understand that, they're dumb. You don't need their number if they're that dumb. So anyway, uh, she gave me her WhatsApp, and she's sitting like maybe like seven feet from where I'm standing. There's nowhere to sit, so she's messaging me back and forth, still looking up at me, smiling with the mask on, smiling so hard I could see it through the mask. And she just, I told her, I was like, I'm gonna come to Nicaragua, to, I'm reading the text, I'm gonna come to Nicaragua soon to see you, to visit you. I travel every month. She immediately said, I will wait for you. She said, I will wait for you, right off the bat. Right off the bat, she says, I will wait for you. Okay. Then I told her, okay. I put wow, because I was shocked by that. Even though I'm used to dealing with the foreign woman cooperation, that was still shocking. The chicks back home, they wouldn't even have thought to sit there. And if they wanted, if they wanted you to wait on them, they would want to wait. They, you, you pretty much got to give them a cash app for them to wait on you. This is what I'm basically trying to say, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying though. So I asked her how she came here today. Is she alone? She's like, no, she's meeting some friends. She'll be here for a few days. Uh, she's like, the only problem is we don't speak the same language. I said, oh, don't worry. I'm hopping on Duolingo now and I'm gonna learn Spanish and we'll be able to talk very well in one week. I'm putting in that much effort. And she thought that was funny. And she said, yeah, but I think I'm gonna have to learn English too. I'm like, really? This motherfucker about to learn enough? Okay. So she, she's gonna go to her extent to learn another language. Do you think anybody in the United States is gonna learn another language to talk to you? Rhetorical question. Uh, and then, she just takes me some stuff I read here in a minute. God damn, it's some women up in the, in the uh, airport in Medellin. But anyway, she came over here, she, her flight or her Uber or whatever is here. She comes over here and she kisses me on the ear and says, bye, I gotta leave. And that was shocking. So now, I'm not gonna put a picture of her, of her up here because I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, it's that bad. It's that bad in the States of Poland where something so simple is so shocking. So get your passport, go overseas, go to Colombia, go anywhere but the United States or any other country that have similar complaints like Canada or the UK. They're saying the same bullshit problems. Go to somewhere like Colombia where there's no dating coaches. If you aren't dating overseas, you're fucking your life off. You're doing yourself a very big disservice.